Welcome back once again to this channel. Mobat's mother breaks silence. You're about to hear some very shocking, explosive one. You have never heard this one before. That is why I want you to pay attention from the beginning of it till the end. And for our international audience that uh, do not understand the language, I'm going to translate as we proceed with analysis, deep analysis on um, the present and what she is saying. Now, Mubad's mother started with this. These people, referring to those that are seeking for justice for Mubad and those that are not seeking for justice for Mubad, in general, she is saying they are not mourning with me. They are not mourning with me. Yet, they want me to come out to talk. Unfortunately for you, madam, I'm not attacking you. The same people that you called upon to seek for justice for Mubad won. The same people recently that you came out to say to them, my son is disturbing me. His spirit and ghost is disturbing us. Please, can you pressure the father to allow to sign so that we can bury him? The same people, the same people that you are talking to, that you are requesting assistance from, the same people that donated money is the same that you are saying, oh, they did not mourn with me, yet they are asking me to come out to talk. Well, you started on a bad note, but then maybe you are referring to those that uh, are laying curses on you because there are some people who are laying curses on her, laying curses on the little baby, Liam, and also on Wumi. You all know that Wumi has refused DNA. You'll be hearing more about this. What is the relationship between Mubat's father and Mubat's mother? What happened along the way? But before we proceed, I want you to like and share this video. It's very important. Let it go viral. You will be listening. You will be hearing all our own truth, all our truth. What transpired? What happened? Why did she leave Mubat's father's home? What happened along the line? Who is at fault? You will be judging for yourself when you listen. Mubaz Fada has said his own part, and I think Mubaz Fada is going to respond to this one. It's very important, it's important, and very necessary. It's all about justice for Mubad, nothing more. Mama Mubad, Mama Mubad is out to speak. She's out to tell the world what she knows, what happened. And of course, about the DNA, about the birth of Liam, and what happened. What did Mubad Fada do? What transpired? What is this all about? You're about to hear it all. That is why I want you to pay attention from the beginning of this video till the end of it. Make sure you listen. Listen up. Analysis, like I said, will follow immediately after Mubat's mother finished speaking. Yes, analysis will follow. You will get to know what she's saying if you do not understand the language. And your comment are highly appreciated before we proceed like and share i say again like and share tap on the subscribe button turn on the notification bell let's get right into this one hmm. Lori Tito, a pia 
money go go one more. Hello, Majura. Come in. I'm whatever that dinner. That dinner. Go go. I'm too sorry. I'm not going to sit with you. I'm not going to sit with you alone. So I'm going to sit with you. I'm going to sit with you. I'm going to sit with you. I'm going to sit with Tu n'as pas eu le temps de faire des choses. Tu n'as pas eu le temps de faire des choses. Tu n'as pas eu le temps de faire des choses. Tu n'as pas eu le temps de faire des choses. Tu n'as pas eu le temps de faire des choses. Tu n'as Si mon mot, colonne. So, mommy, any suru, he got ten tell that is of one, ten sonny, and he at the point, um, you buying sorrow, right? Baba, um, Baba Mubadu, the cool me buying she, right? He got ten, one, the cop buying she.
to buy in so in a joe 10 years i know see mommy shelly shall i have one shallow to 10 years left we could do i think we will go back to 10 years in here share we are on more low tiny share the green or do that if you are more in that other than you go 10 years in here some people let me see as you don't call in so you know i just buy to you know what you Got you and one so money lati. Oh, my God, why to fi cut? 
Anyway, I'm, I think I'm going to call her back. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Eh? I don't know. Okay, what I put in Kelo she caught here. I don't know. Huh? The Colon shall know well. Emigo got what in Kelo? What in Kelo she caught here? Okay, okay, the Kula Biamo. Oh. It's too much. What you put you? What you put you? I had you. I imagine. Eh? Come around one way. What you brainwash? Go go walk by Jenny. Ah. Uh, hello, ma. So, move, move. So, a lot of content. So, you. Ni ten years. Ten years. Ten. Ten. One do be. Ria one more year. Eh? Ria one more year. But eh? Ria one more. Mama, please, can you mute yourself, please? Every one to equip Baba want to want to soften up and walk, but Dory, talk about them of Pori, Walani, Abby. Walani, Mommy, a man, Mommy, a market, such a book, a market, a market, Monsieur Bo, a could take out to get a smell for me, a market. Oh, I be giant jar like by a law. When you walk by the last way, I'm <laughs> I want to see come as so long to me. I want to pick it and we'll be my friend. Let's be King Jacob. I'm going to keep our money. What that that come as you, but I know the matter. You need to come to buy a pet buyer. I want my money. We say that, but I but I promise you, can you more if you go home? Hello, my sister, that job. Can you more neighbor? I might be no, or can you neighbor? Okay, <laughs> What you want this? You know, Simon, you say, 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 you yeah. Okay. Ah. Yeah. Mommy. Okay. Emma I promise. Kilo de tefikuro ni lewon. Like kilo faja gongo. Kilo beyin kuro. Ba o kilo shele gongo.
Okay, mommy. Mommy, she lo turn you off. Mommy, she lo turn you off. You just tell me who do want to hear that. Go go if you lean into them. Oh, you are so much. You say you are so much. Oh, 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 Kau ini juga ibu, kau ni yang wan wan, yang beli beli, bukan kau yang kau ni mungkin mungkin kau cuma dah elu si kani orang ni, alah orang ni orang ni si, sok ni mula sapa masi, ini dia ni mula balik, mula sok kau yang mami maju balik, ini semua sasi, semua si jadi, mula yaitu orang mami, ni, kau mesti mula sok balik, ini tu semua milenial. To set o mais só que ele iria o homem ele não deve dar se não é tão muito badra o mais só bem fui a a homem é o assim o dia que lá o homem é tudo o se vamos ter mais badra lá o a badra mamã se que gan a gente não vai se largar de ele que se delori ah lá me aí gente ah eu estou lá onde vai isso aí onde vai ele com colo babá de o suíte é muito longe a bobo tão longe 
Placenta daja le loto mu mi o paro ko se pe mu mi paro mu mi paro o ti no bi mo kini o ma bi ni le re o e mi bo wo ko mo yen nkan to daja le ni arin won nje ataka se le ni ton nkan to daja le nje o ni o de le bu de da si na sugo promise le won lu mi tori mo se be ja baba e tori o en ti so ata yan yan ninu le promise
Mommy, mommy, Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. You heard what Mubat's mother said, but for those who did not understand what she said, let us translate together and analyze. I say together, I'm sure there are those who understand and they might want to drop one or two comments about what they've heard. And with this, we all can be on the same page. Mubat's father didn't say much. But from what we heard, she is a promiscuous woman. She is a bad woman. That is Mubad's mother. And Wumi also, according to Mubad, in his lyrics, Wumi is a transformer. The question that is asked from Wumi's mother is, how did you come about Wumi? I mean, when did you guys get to meet? She said, I do not know this lady. The first time I met her was the 41 days of Liam, the little baby. 41 days after birth. 
That was when I got to know who she is. Now, Mobat's father, according to her, had painted a picture. And that picture is not a good one. That she's a bad woman, she's a terrible woman, she's a witch, she's a, she's a, she's a useless person. She said she is not a useless person. And she recounted what happened. Let us pick it from the beginning. Yes. How did all this start? How did it all start? Let us begin from their marriage back in those years. She said in those years, she was the hardworking type. She worked in a bakery. She was doing menial jobs in a bakery. And she got paid some amount of money. And that money, she brings that money home. That Mobas father wasn't really that employed. I mean, business was not that good. He was into carpentry, yes, but nothing was working for him. But Mobas father is a bad man and will often brag among his friends that my wife, once I speak, she will start crying. She's soft as a jelly. And one of Mobas father's friend called her one day and said, look, woman, stop crying whenever this man speaks to you in a rough manner. You are too weak. You have to stand up for yourself. Now, let us file that somewhere. Let us also go back much. Let, let's, 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 let's look at it deep. A question was asked. Was there a time that Mobad told you about the adulterous characteristic traits of Wumi? She said, no. There was no time. Never a time. And I don't know her that much for me to say she's a promiscuous woman. But Moba's father told us that Wumi is a promiscuous lady, according to Mobad. Now, you might be like, but we are not there. We weren't privy to that conversation. The lyrics of Mobad in his song, Transformer, he said it already. That Wumi is a transformer. Wumi is a transformer. That she is a, a known transformer. And, you know, that's just a slang, like a kind of um, code for a lady who goes from man to man. Transformer is an electric appliance that reduces, breaks down electricity from the high voltage cable into your homes. So... Rumi breaks down high voltage electricity into different homes here and there. That is why she is called a transformer. Now, you should ask yourself, if Rumi is a transformer, what made, what prompted, what, why did Mobad continue? Because Mobad is the one that brought Rumi into this story. Somehow they met. If he wanted Rumi to change, and Rumi cannot change, why don't you walk away? What happened? Was he under a spell? Or he was just attached to her and he could not move away until it ended up in his demise. Now, talk about DNA. She said, uh, about the DNA, how is it possible for Mubaz's father to talk about DNA when he is actually the architect of the pregnancy of Wumi? Now, don't get it twisted. She didn't say Mubaz's father had some sexual interaction with Wumi, that Mubaz's father would provide spiritual water, spiritual soap, spiritual this, to enable Wumi get pregnant. So why is he now requesting for DNA? Well, for me, personally, I think uh, there's nothing wrong in requesting for DNA at this point. Mubaz's father did not wish that Wumi would be promiscuous. And it is the same accusation of promiscuous, adulterous character, nature, that Mubad's father accused Mubad's mother of. That's why I want you to stay put as you're about to hear that part. What happened? Why did she leave home? Now, she said, back in those years, because questions are asked, why did you leave your children? What happened? Why did you leave your kids? This is bad. Why did you do so? She said, back in those days, like I said, Earlier, she worked in a bakery and she also had a local grinding machine, a mill, a, a mill 
to grind staple foods such as corn and all of that. Probably bought for her by Mubat's father or maybe bought for her by her own parents to help them. Now, she said she would not have married Mubat's father because her own parents didn't permit her. They said, don't marry this guy. Don't marry this guy. But she went ahead. She did marry Mubat's father because uh, nobody knows tomorrow according to her. Like they are saying this man is like this, probably broke. Like this poor guy. Don't marry this person. Marry someone that is well to do. Someone that is up and doing. At least someone that is capable, not this one. Look at this other guy. He's comfortable. Why don't you stick with this one? Why with this one? Anyway, she said she went on like life is good. Now, when she got pregnant of Mubad, it was prophesied to her that this child is going to lift you guys out of poverty. This one is a glorious child. It's going to shine light into this family. She held on to that. Now, as time went on, she kept crying whenever Mubad's father got uh, upset or said hurtful words to her or they had a problem, clash, something. So, when Mubad's uh, father's friend told her, stop crying, stop this nonsense. Your husband is always bragging about your soft, jelly-like, you know, lifestyle. Stop it. Stop it. It is making him feel like he's strong. Stop it and don't continue anymore. Now, in those days, was Mubad's father doing his carpentry job or not? Well, according to his own story, he painted a picture of poverty where he himself and Mubad had to work and they had to do some kind of menial jobs still on carpentry. That business was not good. So business was never good. Mubad's father wasn't that, you know, financially okay, something like that for a long time. Now, she said, I stopped crying. I wiped off my tears. I stood up from the ashes. I am not going to cry for this man anymore. Whatever he does, I care less. Now, he said this um, kind of made Mubad's father feel bad. Like, this woman is no longer broken. Maybe she's cheating. Maybe there is a man out there. Suspicion started. Well, she kept on with her things. Now, whenever she goes to work, she doesn't bring money back home anymore like she does before. Like she doesn't bring home money. She doesn't do that anymore. That she now decided to spend money on herself, make her hair. And I believe if Mubaz father saw this, she's like, he's like, oh, this woman, you are seeing someone outside, obviously. Someone is teaching you these things. The journey went on. Then, one day, it became tough. I mean, of course, obviously, uh, it, when it gets to this point, when push comes to shove, Definitely something has to give. I mean, something has to crack or break. So they kept on with this thing. And one day, one day, one day, both of them had to break apart. It was violent, a, a violent one. She had to leave like she went back and uh, took the last baby. Then that was Adura. She said she had three children for Mubad's father, a lady, a girl, Mubad, and the last one, Adura. And that uh, she took the little boy. And left. Her parents promised, but her father promised that uh, the little boy would stick with her and that uh, she should just let go of the first and second for Mubad's father to take care of. Well, as time went on, life took a different turn. She moved on with her own life, kept doing. Then one day, she said, normally the two kids will come to her for holiday. That is. Mubad's elder sister and Mubad, they do come, for her, come to her for holiday. Then one day, Mubad's father manipulated these kids to steal, that's what she used, to steal the little boy, Adura. They took him off and ran away and brought Adura to their father. Wow. Now, Everything kept on and on like she felt, forgot about it and she didn't say nothing. And, you know, the society that we live in and also the, the, the status, the life that Wumi's, uh, you know, mother and uh, Wumi herself lived is kind of a, it's similar. It's similar to the story that Mubat's mother is painting also. She also, according to her elder sister, they were all left. I mean, their mom left them. Their father too was not a, a functional father. 
everything was so dysfunctional. Their mom left them on the street. Karimo, the elder sister of uh, Wumi, said she was on the street. She was abused like three times. She, you know, that even when she tried to get a mother back into her life, a mother messed up again. These are all that she said also. So these are two family, two individuals from a family that is not functioning properly. They both met each other. And there are a lot of people that come from such. The ability to reawaken, the ability to renew yourself is important in life, regardless of where you have come from or where you are coming from or what is or whatever it is that you have seen in your, in your family. The ability to renew your mind. I don't know if that is a gift or it's a grace. Or it's just a choice. I think it's more of a choice for you to look inwards and look at the attitude of your father. Maybe your father is a bully, a narcissistic person. And you, as a young child, you're growing up as a male and you think this is the way. No, you have a choice to make. Or as a lady, you would believe that a man must be like your father. Must be a narcissistic person, bully you, beat you up for you to be fully human or humane. No, that's not true. That's not true. That's not true at all. So, she went on saying that uh, along the way, along the way, she even spent money on sending Mubaz's father to a pastoral school, as they call it, where he, 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 to learn about the Bible, to teach, to preach. So, Mubaz's father is an, is, is, is an ordained, or can we say he went to Bible school anyway. Now, with all the Bible school, with all of these things, with all of these things, Bible school and all of that, still is unable to spiritually or to take time to put certain things right in his life as a person. Hmm. This is a lesson. So she went on with her life. Obviously, I had two kids from what we heard for some other man and it seems the other man too things didn't flow as it should because if things did flow mobad will not say to you his own mother mom i want to reunite remarry you and daddy again i want you guys to put an end to all your difference i'm going to pay for your marriage i'm going to set you guys up since money money apart from the issue that brought about the breakup and i'm going to tell you guys about what brought about the breakup she said uh, when she stopped crying she cleaned her tears she started taking care of herself whatever she does at work she took care of her body she made her hair dressed fine boss father wasn't happy with this and she said she did something one day she had a friend a younger friend from her village a lady married to a man. So the lady traveled and since this man and wife are friends of hers too, they sit at a shop where she does her business, you know, do the grinding of the thing, you know. So she cooked, she cooked, I don't know if it is once or twice or thrice, and gave to this man. Mubas father got to know about it and hell broke loose. You are an adulterous woman. You are cheating. Obviously, the mother had already said that uh, the crying jelly is no longer crying. She's taking care of herself. Her face is hard. Things are now have changed. So, you are cheating is the next thing that came into the story. Well, eventually she left home. Now, Muba tried to reunite them, like I said, and uh, prior to that reuniting, both of them started meeting up again because the marriage, both of them, their marriage did not work out later. I mean, the women and men that they got to meet, nothing worked for them. Nothing worked. So, Muba tried to reunite both of them together, like, okay, you know what, I'm going to help you guys reunite. Let's forget about the differences and move in. You guys, let's move you guys in together as husband and wife. Let's forget it. We will make money. Life will be good. So, Mubaz's father, according to her, Mubaz's father will even come to her own place where she lives, sleep over. Sleep over. Sometimes they do sleep over in uh, Mubaz's house. They do sleep over. Then, one day, one day, one day, one day, according to Wumi now, 
when she went to the corona inquest. This is what she said. That one day, Mubas' father, often she will bring, he, he will bring another woman, the other lady that uh, came into his life. Um, he wasn't ready. He was not ready to give up those women. It wasn't just something that she, he wanted to do. Um, and I don't know. I don't know how to advise him on that one. Although all of this is gone now. Uh, both of them, both of them will come. The new woman, if you guys remember the video, um, the video where when Muba was to be buried, there was a woman that was talking, that was saying, you guys, you see, you see, you see, that woman is the one that is in the life of Muba's father presently. So she is the one that will be referred to as girlfriend. She's not a girlfriend. She's the third woman that lived in Muba's father's house. The first is Muba's mother. The second is the one that Muba sang about stepmother the one that Mubat father had to like send away when um according to him she she wasn't uh, she was competing with Mubad and uh, i mean the love competing with Mubad and also the woman had uh, some kind of attraction with Mubad as a result of uh, food being eaten soup as soup was eaten by Mubad and the woman was uh, crazy about it now Mubad's father brought in that third woman to Mubad's house for the weekend. Why? I don't know. And that same weekend, Mubad's mother came. Who called Mubad's mother? Well, according to Umi, she said, Mubad's father thought I called Mubad's mother to come because um, he brought a woman in. And this um, resulted to some ups and down issues. And problem started. So both of them had a fight. Mubat's father and Mubat's mother. They had a fight like, how dare you bring another woman to the bed that both of us lay on in our son's house? What kind of rubbish is this? Now, the man has his own answer over that. Maybe, well, I want polygamy or I cannot chase this one away. Or what about you? Don't you go to blow your former husband? Why, how dare you tell me to cut off from... A woman that has remained loyal to me. I don't know about that angle. I don't want to even dwell on that. What we want is justice for Mubad. And the DNA is part of the justice for Mubad. I don't know what you guys think about it. Because all of this, uh, uh, he, she's a cheat. We don't care about what Mubad's father and mother did. Although it affected somehow. But we are more interested. Very much interested in the DNA. Why? We care less about how the baby came about. Can we just do DNA? I'm a bad mother. You need to be careful about your utterances at times. Um, I know that you have spoken at length. So there are times that you speak out of pain, out of anger, out of this and that. A lot of pent up uh, you know, emotion and anger. Do not ever refer to those that stood and made it possible for your son to be where he is today. I know God above all. There are people who are fans of it. There are people who stood out, who came out to protect. There are people that got in just seeking for justice for your son. So don't say, uh, the same people that you called upon and say, please, 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 justice for my son. Please, uh, those same people, don't speak anyhow to them. Don't talk anyhow to them. No, do not at all. Do not at all. You have to guard your words at this time. You don't have any right to speak against people at this time. If truly, if truly you want justice for your son, speak to Wumi to avail Liam for DNA. At least this will bring clarity. It will bring clarity to the whole story. There won't be anything for Mubad's father to hold on to. The next will be about the streaming revenue of Mubad and um, the bank account of Mubad, bank statement of uh, Mubad. These are what we will be looking into. You have spoken and um, I can see that you are not a dumb woman. Regardless of what anyone wants to say, you're not a dumb woman. You're a smart woman. Mobile's father too. He's a, he has native intelligence. You, you, you guys are not dumb. You're not stupid. Whatever it is in between you, you guys need to deal with him. Mobile's father, please, that you are poor or that you're broke does not mean that you, you cannot stand up as a human being, as a man. You have to throw away. I cannot look at both of you and now say that I'm judging one person for the other as regards your private life, your personal relationship and what happened in between. No, I can't because these things are complex. They are complex. 
But how can we deal with these differences and seek for justice for your son? That's what we are interested in. How do we deal with the justice of a thing for your son? That's it. Because right now, I can see that the grievances between both of you seems to stick to your heart. It's like a personal vendetta. How do we put peace in between both of you? Now that your son is gone, what can you do? Who is going to bring... It's better you guys unite now. Yeah? And I'm, I'm kind of thinking this is so complex. In fact, we don't want to even unite you guys. We don't want to unite you. We don't want to unite you guys anymore. We don't want to even encourage it. What we want is justice for Mubad. And you guys should begin to confess. Huh? There is, you cannot be siding with me. Just push. Push her. Let her release the boy for DNA. And that's all. Once that is sorted, that we move to the next level. You are the, you are the people stalling this. Using this your personal quarrel and fight. She's a cheat. She's pr promiscuous. She's adulterer. She's this and that. Okay, okay, okay. We have heard. Can we do DNA? Let us leave your adulterous or non-adulterous. I'm a saint. I'm not the same thing. Let's leave that aside. Can we just do DNA? How is DNA so difficult for Wumi? Mobat's mother, you have spoken. We have seen you on social media now. That's a good thing. You want to make sure that you express yourself before the end of the year. 2024. Before 2024, let the DNA be sorted out. That's what we are requesting for and nothing more. I don't know if you guys um, are kind of thinking what I'm thinking. That's what we are requesting for. Nothing more. Let DNA be done. And then we move to the next level. Autopsy is one. And that has been kept to the Nigerian government. Lagos State Governor said, Babajide Sonwulu said he's on top of the matter. Autopsy is on one side. But for now, let us deal with what we can deal with. DNA. DNA. Let us sort out this DNA. Only three things are important in Mobad's RIP. DNA. Streaming revenue. Bank statement. If it is on your name, Wumi. Two. Autopsy. Nothing more, nothing less. Why don't you guys sort this out? Why are you making it like a big issue? Let's sort this one out. It's very easy. Let's sort it out. Let's start with the DNA. So, Mama Mobad, please, can you talk to Wumi to avail Liam for a DNA? So, we don't have to go through legal routes and pressing and social media here and there. Let us sort this out easily.